Some things have popped up that I think at least need some clarification. When was the last time you were subject to a polygraph? Uh, approximately two or three years ago. Two or three years ago. To your knowledge, have you ever failed a polygraph or found to be out of scope? Uh, I've never failed one. I was out of scope uh, prior to my last polygraph. When was, and that would have been at what time? You said two to three years ago. Could you be more specific? Uh, sir, I think we can cut to the chase. I think there's an email that talks about people being out of scope for a polygraph, which generated my last polygraph. Oh, don't worry. We're going to be cut to the chase. Uh, sir, I, so January. Time, so, if, so if you want to go ahead and say it's January 2016 when you received a text or an email, correct? Uh, sir, if that's the date, I'll stipulate to that. I don't have those okay, dates. Okay, we'll take that as a stipulation. Has an examiner ever accused you of attempting to use countermeasures to, uh, during a polygraph examination? Not to my recollection, no. You received your email in January, as you've stated, and you've uh, stipulated to that your polygraph was out of scope in January 2016. To your knowledge, how long was your polygraph out of scope? Sir, I don't know. I recall it's the penultimate, the second to last polygraph I had was when I was a supervisor at Washington Field Office, which would have occurred somewhere between 2008 and 2011. My understanding of what out of scope means for the FBI is that Polygraphs have a kind of five-year span of uh, effectiveness or, or, or validity. We had uh, several people, we were trying to, including me, trying to get read right into a particular uh, intelligence compartment. They ran the names. Me and some others were out of scope, uh, which happens because polygraphs are uh, – the line for polygraphs is longer than the normal. I understand. I'm a member of the military, Mr. Strzok. I understand the lines for polygraph. I understand the delays in them. However, you happen to have a very secure job and a very one that is highly uh, sensitive. Yep. So the question is, again, I would assume to answer your evasiveness, you did not know how long you were out of scope. Is that correct? Yes or no? That's fair, sir. I was trying to recreate it by recollection. but I So yes or no, do you know how long you were out of scope? I do not. Okay. Do you, what was taken, what steps were taken to bring you into scope? I went and had a polygraph. Okay, when was then, all right, was this after the January 16 letter that you received? It would have been afterwards, yes, sir. Okay. If you were out of scope, the last time, when was the last time you, cla you accessed classified information? Um, last, night before last, preparing for this. Okay, you currently, you currently have what classification? Uh, I have a top secret clearance with some SCI compartments. Okay. During the time that you were out of scope, did you have access to SCI? Yes, sir. Are you aware that it is FBI procedure that a failure or out of scope polygraph is a term, does not terminate a top secret, but however, a failure of this would require you to be read out of SCI access, although you could maintain your top secret. This was a direct answer from a question that I posed and was received within the last week. Were you aware that you should have been read out of any SCI information sure, I believe, when you were out of scope? I believe you used the word failure, which implies, in my mind, a failed poly. I am not and was not aware of the fact that an out-of-scope polygraph required a readout of SCI. Then the question, I, then I, I accept that, Mr. Strzok, but I want to get back to the question. The answer came back from the, from the FBI and justice itself that it was, that is the procedure. So the next question I have is, after the 2618, you did your polygraph at what time? You said you were out of scope, you were brought in by giving a polygraph. When would that have been? Again, sir, my recollection is the 2016 time frame, but I'd, after that email, but I don't know when, uh, within a month or two, I think. Are you also aware in the publicly stated version of the IG report that there has been some serious questions and issues concerning polygraph information and lack of polygraph uh, procedures at the Department of Justice and FBI that was brought out by the Inspector General? Uh, I'm not I, I'm generally aware that there was a report, but I'm not aware of the conclusions. There. One of the general concerns on this is that when you're out of scope, and this is the answer coming back from the Department of Justice, you should have been read out of SCI. My concern is, is that during this time frame, you were involved in two very high profile, what would have been, or at least getting ready for SCI information in which you were not read out of. This is a concern. Is nothing else from that question. I have no further questions, and I'm finished, and I yield back. I think you misstated the conclusion there, sir. I think you said that if in the event of a failure, it would require a readout, and that's not what you concluded. The gentleman from Georgia controls the time. Mr. Strzok. The time's over. Mr. Chairman, the time's up. May I respond, sir? There was no question to respond to. The answer is from the Department of Justice. I read you the answer. May I comment to what I believe is a misstatement? Briefly. Sir. 
from your answer, what I took that to be is in the event of a failure, an individual should be read out. You are conflating that with a out of scope or failure. It is not my understanding that out of scope requires somebody to be read out. It may be, I'm not a security professional, but you, you appear to even So you're out of seat right now with an answer that was received from the Department of Justice. And, you, and that is an interesting answer that you just gave, that you may have been out of sync. And the question now becomes, is policies and procedures failed or not failed? This is a serious investigation, which I do take seriously. And if you were to have been read out, you should have been read out. That is my final answer statement, not a question, not opposed. I yield back. 